Hey everybody, how you doing? We're back. We're back now for part nine. What is warp space, according to Rogue Trader? Warp space is the medium through which faster than light spacecraft travel between stars. It is, in a sense, an alternate reality or parallel dimension in which the laws of time and space are different from those in our own universe. Movement within warp space bears a distinct relationship to distance traveled in normal space. And this relationship can be manipulated to make faster than light travel possible. It is not strictly true to say that distances in warp space are shrunk compared to those of normal space. A more accurate analogy would be to think of warp space as a dense fluid medium which is subject to constant movement, currents, and undertoes. This is not perceptible in warp space itself, of course, because the fluidity is only relative to our own reality. Okay, let me go to take a little time to explain that. What they're saying is, is that space itself is a thing. Uh, a thing that's similar to a dense fluid, as they said there. But to the people or entities living in warp space, they can't tell the flow and currents and density changes of nothingness, space itself. We can see it, or more specifically, our navigators, human navigators, can see it as they pierce warp space coming from our universe. They can then see the different densities and flows of uh, literally nothingness uh, in warp space. Got it? So warp space, not the crazy realm of chaos. No emotions made manifest, coming sentient. None of that shit, <coughs> sorry, existed in Rogue Trader. And for me, uh, pretty much still doesn't exist because they're getting really silly. With, with trying to, to, to pin down the 40K universe, so to speak. But let's keep going. La, 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 la. Sorry, where was I? A spacecraft can exploit this phenomenon by entering warp space, allowing itself to be shifted along its natural flow, and then re-entering normal space a distance away from the starting point a metaphor commonly used to explain how warping works is that of a fast flowing stream. The stream represents warp space moving rapidly along its motionless banks, representing real space. A leaf dropping into the water upstream will move along, floating on the surface of the water. The leaf does not move relative to the water, but is merely carried by it until it lodges at some point downstream from its original location. This is a useful metaphor as far as it goes, but it must be remembered, warp space is far more complex in its movements than the linear stream, for it can move in all sorts of convoluted and bewildering patterns. Spacecraft are also able to make corrective movements in warp space and can enter or leave warp space at a chosen moment. Even so, warp travel is never totally predictable, either in its duration or eventual destination. Warp space is closely linked to psychic phenomena. There is a school of thought which believes psychic powers to be an ability to tap energy from warp space. According to this theory, a psyker has a mental or spiritual link with a point or points in warp space. If this is true, then it explains how many psychically aware creatures are able to home in to psychic vibrations, or even to transverse warp space itself in some cases. Certainly, the relationship 
between the two kinds of space is a complex one and not fully understood. So let's see what we heard here. Or more importantly, let's see what we did not hear here. We did not hear about demons. We did not hear about chaos powers. We did not hear about emotions becoming sentient. And we did not hear that everybody instantly dies if they go into warp space without a Geller field. In fact, uh, we didn't hear about Geller fields. In the next part, we're going to talk about warp drives. And probably warp portals too. And then warp creatures if I have time. We'll see you then. Bye.